ವಂದೆ ಗುರುಪದ್ವಂದ ಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಸಮನ್ವಿತ ಶ್ರೀ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ವಂದೆ ನಿಂದ ಸಹೋದಿತ ಶ್ರೀನಂದನಂದನ ವಂದೆ ರಾಧಿಕಾಚರಣೋತ ಗೋಪೀಜನ ಸಮಯುಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದಾವನ ಮನೋಹರ ವಾಂಚಾಕಲ್ಪತರು ವಶ್ಚಿ ಪಾಸಿಂದು ಬಿವಚ ಪತಿನ ಪಾವನೆಭ್ಯ ವೈಷ್ಣವೇಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಮೂಕಂಕರೋತಿ ವಾಚ ಲಂಪಂಗುಂಗ್ಲಂಘಯತ್ಗಿರಿ ಯತ್ ಪಾತಮಹಂಗ ವಂದಿ ಪರಮಾನಂದಮಾಧವ ಬಿಂದಾವೈ ತುಸಿ ದೇವೈ ಪಿಯಾ ವೈ ಕೇಶವಸ್ಚ ಕೃಷ್ಣಭಕ್ತಿ ಪದ ದೇವಿ ಸ್ವತ್ವತ್ವೈ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನರುಂಚರೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವಿ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತೋ ಜಯೋ ಮುದೀರ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಥೋಪದೇಶ ಗೌರೀಯ ಪತ್ರ ಪ್ರಕಾಶನೆ ಸದಾನುರಕ್ತ ಗುರುಭಕ್ತಿಯುಕ್ತ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಮದಾಕ್ಷ ಜಗೋದ್ಭರಣ್ಯ ಧೈಯ ಸದಾ ಪರಿಭಪಗ್ನಮಿಷ್ಟೂಹಂ ತೀರ್ಥಾಸ್ಪದ ಶಿವಿರಂಜನು ತಂ ಶರಣ್ಯ ಭೀತಾತ್ತಿಹ ಪನುದಾಲ ಭವಾಧಿಪೂತ ವಂದೇ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷ ತೆ ಚರಣಾರಿಂದ ಯತ್ಪಾದಲ್ಲಮನಕಚಂದಮನಿ ಛಟಾಯ ವಿಸ್ಫುರ್ಜೀತ ಕಿಮಿ ಕಪವಧೂಷು ಅದರ್ಶಿ ಪೂರ್ಣಾನುರಾಗರಸಾಗರ ಸಾರಮೂರ್ತಿ ಸಾರಾಧಿ ಕಾಮಿ ಕದಾ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯಾದೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯಾದೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ಆಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜೌ ಕನುಕಾಬುದಾಥು ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೈಕರ ಕಮಲಾಯುಕ್ಷ ವೀಶಾಂಬರೋ ದ್ವಿಜವರೋ ಜುಗಧಾರ್ಮಪಾಲೋ ವಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ಪ್ರಿಯಕರು ಕರುಣಾಭತಾರೋ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ನಮಿ ಗಂಗೇ ತವ ಪಾದು ಪಂಕಜ ಸುರಸುರೈರ್ವಂದಿಪ ಭುಕ್ತಿ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ದಿ ನಿತ್ಯ ಭಾವಾನುಪೇನ್ ಸದಾ ನರಾನ ಗಂಗಾತರಂಗರಮಣೀಯ ಜಲಾಪ ಗೌರೀ ನಿರಂತರ ವಿಭೂಷಿತ ವಾಮ ಭಾಗ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಮನಂಗಮದಾಪಹಾರ ವರಾನಸಿಪುರಪತಿ ಭಜ ವೀಶನಾಥ ವಾಗೀಶಜುಷ್ಪದನೆ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀರ್ಯಸ್ ಚ ವಕ್ಷಸಿ ಯಸ್ತಿ ಹೃದಯ ಸಂಬೀ ಸಿಂಹಂ ಭಜಿ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರಿ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಮಜ್ಜನ್ಮನ ಫಲಮಿದ ಮಧುಕೈಟ ಭಾರೇ 
मत्थनियमदनुग्रह ईश एव तद्भिभिचारको भृत्वृत्तो भृत्तृत्तो मंस्मरो लोकनाथो मज्जन्मन फलमिद मज्जन्म फलमिद मधुकैटभारे मत्थनियमदनुग्रह ईश एव तद्भितो भित्तो परिचारको भित्त भित्तो भित्त भित्तो इति मांसमरो लोकनाथो गौरी गोष्ठीपति शिशिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी डॉक्टर प्रभुपा टोल दैट एकायन पद्धति वी गौरी वी गौरी डिवोटीज वी बिलीव इन एकायन पद्धति We have no separate capacity. We don't think any credit. We don't like to get any credit. All seva should be channelized to one perceptual channel. This is called actually Trinadhafi. Those who are not going to follow this perceptual channel, those who are not going to follow this ekayan padhati. Hundred percent sure. Hundred percent sure they are, they are full of false ego. Otherwise, why they are going to insult, ignore, go to a guru varga, try to establish own position and honor? Why? So they cannot make full of us. Sila bhakti shi dham du sarasadi goshami dhaka pohba jagat guru gauri agasti pati tall. We Gauriya, we believe in Ekayan Pathati. We never like to take any credit for anything, so we like to believe on the strength of Guru Parampara, Guru Varga, authentic Guru Parampara. Of course, I am speaking about authentic Guru Parampara. So, Trinada Bisuni is quite natural in this way of. In this way of ekayan padhati, ekayan padhati means we will have to channelize all seva. Suppose Guru Vargo giving me responsibility responsibility to speak Hari Katha, that I cannot think it is my Hari Katha, my lecture. I should think that it is my topmost servitor Sif, Gulami in Bengali and Hindi. We say. I am going to discharge my duty as a servant of Guru Varga. My Hari Katha is their service. It is not, you know, I have nothing to credit. I have nothing to demand in it. This way, Baba speaking, we Gauriyas, we like to believe in Ekayan Padhati. So in Ekayan Padhati, there is no question of, you know, disparity, nothing, no problem. So all seva can be channelized through proper channel, guru par, authentic guru parampara, and authentic guru parampara mean maybe in the middle you can develop some disparity, some break of guru parampara because you know there can be some problem fall down or this that. That's why Prabhupada wanted to establish this Bhagavat parampara. It is more practical. Guru Parampara not, hundred not ana uh, no, not always you know, possible. Guru Parampara is that, but Guru Parampara sometimes sometimes you can see the breakage of Guru Parampara. So we believe in Bhagavat Parampara. We believe in you know, authentic Guru Parampara. We believe in a kind Padhati. We believe in Saranagati. Sikhay Saranagati Bhakti Rupan. शिक्षा है शरणागति भक्ति प्रभा स्पीकिंग प्राण अच्छे जार से हेतु उपचार इफ देर इज नो लाइफ एट ऑल देन वाई दे आर गोइंग फॉर पीचिंग लाइफ मीन शरणागति दे आर नो शरणागति दे डोंट बिलीव इन प्रोपात गुरु वर्ग दे लाइक टू क्रिटिसाइज सो वाई दे आर गोइंग फॉर पीचिंग दे आर पीचिंग इज टोटली फॉल्स पीचिंग इज नॉट इफेक्टिव पीचिंग हंड्रेड परसेंट एनी वे Somebody asking to Prabhupad that how we can grow Trinadvi Bhav, how we can you know get the keep of Nitananda. 
So Nityananda Prabhu, when Nityananda Prabhu, you know, doing kirtan, Amare Kinya Laho Bhajo Gauru Hari, you can buy me. And you do Krishna, you do, you do Gaur Bhajan, you do Gaur Bhajan and try to buy me. So humble. And sometime we find in Kinsan, the Nityananda Babu is so humble, so humble, so humble. It is the topmost example of humble attitude. Follow. Eto boli, eto boli Nityananda Bhume Gori jai, sonaro parvata jeno bhume te lothai. After speaking this, Nityananda Babu is going to roll down on ground with humble attitude, taking one straw in, in, a, in the truth, and with the humble you know, mood going to pray, you know, like golden mountain, golden hill, going to roll down it, it seems. So Nityananda Babu is an example of Trinadapi, idealism of Trinadapi. So it's quite natural. To get the kippa of Nityananda, we must be Trinadapi. To get the kippa of Guru Nityananda, we must be Trinadapi. Prabhupada speaking, we cannot des deserve any credit for any speciality we have. Prabhupada speaking, I am very, you know, you know, hero. I, am, I know everything, I can do everything. I am actually controlling this Gauriyamat. I am actually controlling Gurudev. Idiot. Prabhupada speaking, I am, I, I, am, I am a great hero. I can control everything. I am, you know, great leader, Bahadur. This kind of judgment, we should throw away. We should foster, we should think, we should develop this kind of humble mood that a fallen soul like me, Moshama Patita Babu, Napai Bihar. Hello, Kirtan. Moshama Pratita Prabhu Napai Bihar. A fallen soul like me, you cannot get anywhere. Moshama Pratita Prabhu Napai Bihar. You cannot get this kind of fallen soul like me. Follow. Pratab, Raja Pratap Ruddha speaking. Well, Gorango coming, appearing in this material world to deliver each and every Jivatma, all Jivatma, but except me. I think Prabhu has taken resolution, not, I think Prabhu has taken, I think Prabhu has taken resolution not to deliver me, only with his resolution, he has appeared in this material world, I mean to deliver everybody except me. Out of humble attitude, Raja Pratap Dudu speaking. Follow, follow. So we should develop that kind of humble attitude. You know, such a fallen soul like he in Deen, unqualified, you cannot find in the whole world. Such a fallen soul I am. This kind of feeling, if I have, without any duplicity, then hundred percent you can understand, you can know. We are going to get the keeper of Siguru Nityananda, 100%. But this kind of mood is very difficult to develop. I was speaking in Hindi, Hindi Katha. Some scientists and some philosophers are in the material. They are also going to show some humble attitude. But still, their humble attitude is not a prakita. Some prakita, they at least think I am a philosopher. They think I am a scientist. At least. I know they are not going to show any humble, you know, you know, false ego. But still, it is also one kind of false ego. To identify himself, I am a scientist, great scientist. And, uh, 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 because I discovered this thing, that thing. For me, whole world getting facility. Follow. Humble attitude can be there. Socrates, Einstein, all, all this. They have some, you know, Kant, Saint, you know, philosopher Kant, so all they, they can show, exhibit, they can show some humble attitude, but that also not absolute. Anyway, 
but we will have to show absolute humble attitude. Absolute means there should not be any false ego, no smell, any smell of false ego. There should not be any smell of false ego inside our heart. We should think that we are nothing this way. This kind of feeling if we can develop inside our heart by the association of Guru Vaishnava, because without the association of Guru Vaishnava, we cannot develop this kind of humble attitude. It's not possible. And if we play some drama to stay with Gurudev, then we cannot get any any kipa. Or if we can stay away from Gurudev, still we cannot get a question of proper adjustment. We can stay with Gurudev means to stay with all Bichar Siddhanta. To stay with one Guru Vaishnav, to stay with one Guru Vaishnav means to stay with all Siddhanta, Bichar, etiquette, everything, all Adarsha, idealism. That is called that is called staying with Gurudev. To stay with Gurudev, like you know. You know, yeah, you know, the name of that man who, you know, what is that? Ramchandra Puri. If you stay with Madhavindu Puri path, like, you know, Madhavindu Puri path, if we like to stay with Madhavindu Puri path, just like Ramchandra Puri, then we cannot get any facility. On the contrary, we can fall down. Because due to material darshan, darshan, we can look material thing with Gurudev. Oh, Gurudev passing urine in the bed. But Ishar Puripad never going to express that kind of. So, so, if we can stay with Gurudev, and this is the statistics. If we go, if we go through the statistics of Gauriya Bhajan, we can say, in, in most of the cases, those who are staying with Guru Pātpāda Mahadeva and usually they are going to fall down. We have seen they fall down because anyway they are going to, you know, going to, uh, they are going to have a, a material darshan for Gurudev. Gurushu Naraband, Gurushu Naraband, Gurushu Naraband, Gurushu Naramatir Jasso, eh, Guru, Gurushu Naramatir Jasso Vasa, you know, he is pasanda, he is heartless. Who is going to, who is going to, who is going to think that Gurudev is immaterial? Ah, Gurudev taking, taking prasadam like me, taking bath, taking you know, rest, or like me. That's why usually Prabhupada never used to take prasadam in front of common public, never used to sleep in front of public public. No, there's so much restrictions. Never used to take go to latrine or taking bath, never. Because common people, a slight wrong darshan, if they develop material darshan about Prabhupada, Bhaktivinoda, Thakur, they can fall down. This big problem can be there. So Prabhupada speaking, if you can develop this kind of humble attitude, like the case of Sankar Bhagavan, we are watching from Bhagavad Bhagavatam Rita, so humble. Sanatana Gosai, Rupa Gosai, Haridas, Thakur, they are going to sh show humble attitude, very, very humble, extreme humble attitude, you know. So this way, you see, if you can develop that kind of humble attitude, surely we can get the Kipa of Nityananda. If, if we can stay with Guru Pad Padma, with all idealism of Gurudev and Siddhanta Vichara of Gurudev, then it is called actual staying with Gurudev. Actual seva. Otherwise, there can be great problem. Somebody asking how we can how we can understand that we are doing perfect association of Guru Pad Padma by Shabas. How we can know our association? Our our Sadhu Sangha is perfect. Prabhupada giving answer, 
How we can understand that our bhajan is perfect? How? Papa giving answer in one one line. Papa speaking, the more Papa speaking, the more we can develop, the more we can develop attraction for Guru Vaishnava and their seva. Papa speaking, the more we can develop attraction for Guru Vaishnava and their seva, the more we can go ahead in bhajan. How we can understand? How we can understand? that we are going ahead in our bhajan. How we can understand that we are going ahead in our bhajan? We are making progress in our bhajan. How to realize? Prabhupada giving answer in one line. The more we are developing attraction for Guru Vaishnava, the more we are developing love for Guru Vaishnava, the more we are feeling, you know, you know, seva mood inside our heart, the more we are doing bhajan, you need not ask anybody. You, not, you need not play a drama. You can automatically understand. If I am going to develop tremendous love for Prabhupada, Bhaktivinoda Thakur, for Siddhar Goswami Maharaj, Keshav Goswami Maharaj, for Bhakti Pumaturi Gosim Guru Maharaj, be sure, be sure, I am moving right direction. Otherwise not. If I preach all over the world, it, ma it matters little. It matters little that I am preaching all over the world. If I cannot develop love for Gauriya devotees, Guru Varga, if I criticize, surely I am fallen so. Surely I am a fallen so. What to speak about my bhajan, Gopi Sarup, all false. Everybody, they are discussing false Sarup. They don't understand this point. So, we are sure he is a fallen soul. After even preaching all over the world, he is fallen soul. He is going to, he cannot develop tremendous love for Guru Varga, going to arrange personal pratishtha, everything. It's not a big matter. Because preaching can only be done by the mercy of Gauranga and Nityananda. Without that, Kripa, preaching not possible. Preaching not possible. It is written in Chaitanya Charitamita Krishna Bhakti Bina Nahe Bhakti Pavardhan. Krishna Bhakti Bina Nahe Bhakti Pavardhan. I cannot install Bhakti except the keep of Krishna. I am in Krishna Chaitanya or Nithyananda Balaram. Not possible. Krishna Bhakti Bina without Krishna Shakti. Krishna Shakti means the power of Krishna. Without the power, without the Kripa of Krishna, preaching is not possible. Follow. This way people misunderstand. They don't know, they cannot understand the Siddhanta. Baba speaking, one day, one young boy, you know, is the son of a very gentleman. It seems, it seems he is a boy of a very nice gentleman. That young chap, young man, sometime coming, his entrance, entrance pass. He has a school degree, you know. Entrance is, you know, long ago, maybe hundred years back, entrance is very valuable degree. At present, everybody can get, you know, graduation degree, no value. By that time, at that time, entrance, matriculation, that degree was very valuable degree. Oh no. And Calcutta University was just equal to Oxford University. That time. When scientists, Sotten Bose, you know, Jagadish Bose, scientists, they were there that time. I was speaking. You know, one day, Prabhupada speaking, one day, one son, one day, one young man, yeah, I mean the son of a gentleman, his entrance degree he has, and you know, his Bhairago detachment is very strong. Very strong detachment. His cloth is just above the knee. His cloth is just above the knee. His cloth is very, very dirty, and he is going to show strong Bhairagya. 
Papa speaking, sometime, some, someday he coming to me and meet me, paid Dandava something. And after that, I watch that boy. Someday he is staying, someday going away, somewhere. Anyway, he has not taken Diksha or Harina from me. But still, sometime I discover that man in moth, three, four, five days staying, and after that going away somewhere. Papa speaking, that, that time, my Guru Bhargav, I mean all disciples, they are not coming. Very, you know, their number is very... That time, Papa speaking, I was busy. Papa speaking, Papa speaking, that time uh, I was busy with... I was busy with land and property, everything. I mean the Chaitanya Mahat property. Follow. That, that time, Papa speaking, manpower is very, very less manpower. So I was bound to take care of land and property, everything. So that, you know, and a landlord, like a landlord, so that that, that young chap, young man misunderstand me. He took it as granted that, well, he is going to take care of, you know, land and property. This is the, this is the duty of a material man. So he surely is not guru. He is not sadhu. So he gone. Papa speaking, he is watching that I am taking care of land and property of Chaitanya Mahat, everything, because manpower is very less manpower. He took, he, he took it as granted. He took it as granted that I am a material man. So after watching me, he developed you know, disrespect for me. After watching day by day, he developed disrespect, dis, disrespect for me and gone away. Ah, useless, it's gone away. After that, Papa speaking, due to Asas Sangha, in the name of detachment or attachment, people are actually busy with, busy with Asas Sangha. Both of them. Those who are detachment, busy with detachment, they are Asas Sangha. And those who are busy with attachment, they are Asas Sangha. And Papa speaking, they watch, he, he he gone away and after that he fall down, so great fall down. He fall down in such a way that nobody can take care to deliver him. So Baba speaking, without understanding, without understanding the idealism of a sadhu, without understanding the activities for why a sadhu doing this or that, if somebody going to pass some remark about sadhu guru Vishnu, then they can fall down. It's not possible. Follow. Without understanding the honest intention, without understanding the honest intention of sadhu, for why Madhavandu Puripad was penniless, now Madhavandu Puripad is going to take care of this big temple and Gopal, 10,000 Gomata, Gojabasis, Brajabas says they are giving donation 10,000. Oh, now Madhavendra Puripat, now a material. Fall down. If we think that way, then we are rascal. We should not think that way. Prabhupada speaking, without understanding the intention, honest intention of a sadhu, if somebody going to pass some, somebody going to pass some remark about their activities, then surely they can fall down, nobody can save them. Be careful. The slok I started with is very important slok, you can remember. I am in the humble attitude of Guru Vaishnava. So humble attitude. So humble attitude, this kind of humble attitude usually not available in this material world. In this 14 world even. Follow. Even in the 14 world it is impossible <laughs> to see this kind of humble attitude expressed by one great, great, great devotee. His name is, you know, Kulo Shekhar. Great devotees. He was a great king in South India. Later on, he was, he was actually sadhu. Later on, he was bound to leave everything, all, you know, the post, everything. He wanted to dedicate full, whole life completely for the seva of Madhusudan, I mean for Krishna. He is crying and saying, He is crying and saying, Prabhu, 
you know, if you at all going to give some honor to me, I know, I know you are always going to give honor to Sadhu, but I am not Sadhu, Prabhu. At all, if you at all if you are interested to give some honor to me, but try to think, try to think, Prabhupada, try to think, hey, Prabhu. The, I am the servant of the servant of the servant of the servant of the servant. This way you can give some little bit if you like to give some dignity. That I can accept. My life itself, it is a result of my birth. It is a result of my taking birth. It is my honor unto your lot of speed. I would dim, I would think it is as your mercy. I would dim it as your complete mercy on me. If you can think that I am the servant of 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 your, of your, of your sevak. मत जन्म न हो फलमिदम मधु कोई चबारे मत पार्थनियो मधुनुग्रह ऐशो एवं ऐशो एवं कंफर्मेशन अफर्मेटिव ऐशो एवं दिस मस्ट बी एट ऑल इफ यू लाइक टू सो सम यू नो डिग्निटी टू मी रिजर्व सम डिग्निटी फॉर मी दिस वे वे लाइक टू डू एवं अफर्मेटिव सो दिस इज अ हंबल एटीट्यूड ऑफ गुरु वैष्णव नथिंग न Going to discuss daily so that we can remember and apply, so that we can remember and apply in our own life. Otherwise, no use. Follow. Yesterday, third chapter of the first canto, first you know, kanda was over. It is you know, first kanda. I mean, part and fourth chap, fourth chapter. Now we are going to start with the blessings of Sanatan Gosai. Sila Parikhid Maharaj, Sila Parikhid Maharaj, so long, so long, so long I was discussing, so long I was discussing the topics, I mean the conversation between Naraji Maharaj and Vaishnavaram Jatha Sambhu. Nimnama, Nimnaganam Jatha Ganga, देवानाम अच्छी तो यथा बैष्णवानाम यथा संभू पूरा नानाम तो ये दम बाहर था। About the Sankar who is a Vaishnav, topmost Vaishnav. Externally he is going to take the apron of non Vaishnav. Like one great Vaishnav going to do service in police department, he is bound to take the apron of a police. My Guru Maharaj in 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 his childhood. You know, I already give a you know, description in the life history, smart, short life history of Guru Maharaj. I mean, Amar Kichuka, some of my topics with his heading. Guru Maharaj told me, in his childhood, he saw one great Vaishnav. He was a, not police commissioner, he is a district magistrate. <laughs> district magistrate, great. Guru Maharaj say. With my friend, I went to meet him in a tent because vulnerable situation was there due to some, you know, in due to some problem, you know, communal community communal problem, community problem. So that police department always force, and that district magistrate was there in the tent in a field. We know he is a great devotee. We Guru Maharaj speaking with my friend. I went to meet him, Guru Maharaj speaking. I went to meet him. I entered the train. I paid Randavat. Oh my God, Guru Maharaj saying, so powerful Vaishnav. Externally, you cannot find any system. <laughs> Bhakti Vinod Thakur, externally with you know ordinary clothes and every apron, everything. But great, great Vaishnav. So some. Ordinary people or some uh, some some so-called devotees, some babajis, they also misunderstood Bhakti Vinod Thakur. There is a condition. So we find Sankar Bhagwan in a 
is not with you know is you know is you know is not with Vaishnava Puran nothing. Even we cannot find any tilak. I mean Urdhapunda tilak. He has tilak. Is Pasanda tilak? <laughs> Pasanda means ur, not Urdhapunda tilak. It's called Pasanda tilak. Those are Pasanda they are using. But still we cannot deny that his Vaishnavism is 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 approved by Simad Bhagavatam. And Mahaprabhu told Srimad Bhagavatam Pramana Mamalam. We are going to accept the Praman. We are going to accept all, you know, Siddhanta Vijara of Srimad Bhagavatam is so authentic, so authentic. We are going to accept this kind of rules and everything there in Bhagavatam. It is a so in Bhagavatam it is approved that Vaishnavanam Jatha Sambhu Purananam Idam Bhagavatam. Okay, well. Now, so long I was discussing the topics of Naraji Maharaj and Shankar Bhagavan. Anyway, now in the fourth chapter, Parikshit Maharaj is going to speak. Here it is written, Si Parikshit Ubacho. Si Parikshit Ubacho Mani means Parikshit going to speak. What speaking? Prahlad, Srutya Mahascharja Mive Shubhasitam. Prahlada darshano kautukaha na jataha Hrid yanataha shu esri shutale gato achirat dhavan pravishtaho puroma suramani. What speaking? Well, it is written, Srutya. Shrutya, mean after hearing, Shrutya, Mahas Charja Mivesha Vasitam. Shrutya, Mahas Charja, great surprise. You know, what kind of Siddhanta spoken by Sankar? I mean, Sankar means Isho, Bhagavan. Not Supreme Lord, but Bhagavan. We can see Sankar Bhagavan, no problem in it. Follow. So it is written, Srutya Mahascharjo Mibe Mibo Mibe Shubhashitam. After hearing all the dialogues, I mean Siddhanta, which are of Sankar Bhagavan, Mibe Mibo, eh, Ibo, Esho Isho Bhashitam. Isha Mane Sankar. Srutya Mahascharjo Mibe Shubhashitam. Prahlada Darshana Kautukaha. He was very much interested to meet with, you know, Prahlad Maharaj immediately. Eh? Follow. There is one, mi one word missing in the sloka. Anujataha, I think, what is there is missing. So I have to consult another book. So, sloka. Prahlada Darshana Kautukaha. Na, eh? An anajataha, you know, rid janataha, sri shutale, gato achirat dhavan, pravishtaha, puro masuram munihi. After hearing this kind of exclusive Siddhanta Vichar from Sankar Bhagavan, it was Brahm, actually Brahma Putra, I mean Naraji was very much interested to meet with him. He was very much interested, Kautuk, surprise. He has a surprising Siddhanta Vichar, everything. And immediately Naradi Maharaj was feeling urgent. He immediately wanted to sit in his mental chariot and wanted to reach immediately within fraction of a second. Almost within no period of time, he wanted to reach. So it is written, Manorath. The chariot of his mind, he wanted to climb the chariot of his mind, he wanted to rush, he wanted to run very quickly. Dhavan, you know, and he wanted to reach the Shutal, Shutal, the place of this demon, the special place given by Bamandev. For those demons, Bali Maharaj and Bam, everybody is staying there. 
Prahlad Maharaj also. Of course, Prahlad Maharaj has taken birth in demon destiny, but he is not demon, Prahlad Maharaj. Anyway, Haridas Thakur has taken birth in Muslim destiny, destiny but not actually. It's a great, so great that Bhagavan likes to dance, but that Bhagavan Chakrasikrasna Jaitanya Mahaprabhu wants to dance with the body of Haridas. You see the gravity, you see the dignity of Haridas Thakur. So we cannot pass wrong Nimara. So Manorath means the chariot of mind. He wanted to run very quickly. He was feeling, he was going to, he was, he was going to lose his patience after hearing this kind of exclusive, you know, glorification of Prahlad Maharaj. He was losing patience. Patience immediately wanted to climb the chariot of his mind. He wanted to reach the Sutal to meet with. To meet with whom? To meet with Prahlad Maharaj. Follow. And there they have their capacity. Don't don't think. Don't think it is one kind of you know. Don't think it is one kind of drama. Not that. Actually, Naraji Maharaj, even what to speak about, what to speak about Bhagavan. What to speak about Bhagavan and Naraji Maharaj? Even those who are staying in heaven, within fraction of second they can reach you. Follow. Within fraction of second. So, don't think it is one kind of drama. Don't, please, don't think it that way. Mat people, material people, they, have, they are going to express some doubts and suspicion. Now I can give one example. You see, when Kunti Devi, he was, a, he was a virgin, 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 you know, not married lady. She was a virgin, she was virgin. One day, she got one mantra, special mantra from Durvasa Mani. Durvasa Mani was satisfied with Kunti Devi and he wanted to give one mantra to Kunti Devi. And he, Durvasa Mani told, as and when, as and when you think it necessary, you can immediately chant this mantra and you can call any, any God, any demigod is bound to come. So one day, it was not matured age. One day, out of his playing mood, one day out of his playing mood, she wanted to chant the mantra, she wanted to call Sun God. Follow what I say. She wanted to call Sun God. And immediately Sun God, within fraction of a second, immediately she, immediately she discovered Sun God is there. She was afraid. She was, you know, nervous. She says, then Surya Bhagavan speaking, What for you call me? Oh no, actually, actually, actually I wanted to test the mantra given by... No. No, actually, if you call me, I'm coming here, my coming, my coming here, my coming here in front of you can never go in vain. She was feeling nervous. I can give you one song. Eh? So, I'm virgin. I can give you one song. No disturbance. No disturbance of your, you know, and all. No problem. You can keep intact of your, all your body, everything, but still I can bless you, you can get one son. Immediately, within fraction of a second, all maturity done. Usually in 10 months, we are going to take birth from the womb of mother. But within fraction of a second, Kunti Devi discover one baby, baby, he baby, in her lap. Follow. So, a mantra can never go in vain. So demigods, they can also come within fraction of a second. It is a yogic power. They have, those who are staying in heaven, they have some yogic, usually, usually they have some yogic power. If you speak all rubbish against Indra Maharaj, criticize, then Indra Maharaj can hear from heaven. <laughs> he is staying long distance from us, he can realize. If you pray, I went in my, in my life, 
maybe 22 or 25 years back, I went to Himalaya. I went to Himalaya many times. One day, by the permission of Guru Maharaj, I went to some of my god brothers and me, and other devotees, they went. And some of them, they couldn't take risks to go to you know, Gangotri and what to speak out, Gomuk. I went to Gomuk and from there, I climbed long distance. Those who are actually mountaineering, training, they can climb. But I don't know how I was successful to climb. And there, that a place is called Tapaban. Not this Tapaban. It is also called Tapaban, special. Another Tapaban is there where Ramchandra went to stay in his exile. But this Tapaban is special place of the one part of heaven. So I went there. There one Jogi, for a long time you see, you know, doing yoga. You know, that Mataji, like Kalima. If, if you look at her, you can see just, just Kalima coming in front of Kalimata. So she was very gentle lady. She was from Karnataka. She exchanged some view with us, philosophical, and we asked her how you arrange this rice, dal, chapati, and you, know, you arrange, you give to sadhu. Well, you know, she smile. So we could realize she is going by yogic power. She is going to take wheat and everything, oil, rice, everything. Otherwise, how it is possible for her to give us the, all the arrangement of cooking in this Himalaya, where nobody can go? How possible? So, milk also. Ay, Maharaj, where, where, where no, no bird can give? Even you cannot find one bird there. How possible? Then I asked her, Mataji, you go to take darshan of Badi Narayan and Kedan Narayan because from that hilltop, it was very, very clear. From long distance we can see. But if you walk and go, it will take long time. So many days, you will have to cover long distance. But that Mataji speaking, nothing to me. But I could realize, other yogi is speaking, she is going by yogic power. She is flying and going by yogic power within no, within no period of time. She is going to reach Kedanath Badinaran and going to take darshan and come back within almost within no, no time. So don't think it is a drama, it is possible. Don't think it is drama about Bhagavan Das, our Kalna, Kalna, Kalna Sipa. You know, they are Bhagavan Das, Babaji Maharaj. You know already, Bhagavan Das, Babaji Maharaj, you know, is a great devotee. Bhagavan Das, Babaji Maharaj. I've been there many times in Kalna, because in Kalna, my Guru Maharaj is Sripat, Ananta Vasudev. So usually I used to go there. Also my computer job and was there in Kalna because the uh, charge is very low. And uh, I had no fund, so I used to go there. So the village man, she used to, he used to take a very minimum charge. She, he used to help me. Anyway, so this way. So there in Kalna, there Bhagavan Das Babaji Maharaj just part, see part, where he used to do bhajan. One day, one Jamindar, Big rich man, he wanted to take darshan of Bhagavan Das Bhavaji Maharaj. He took permission from one of his friends. That Jamindar, he, landlord, he took permission from one of his friends. That, can I go today? He told, well, you can go. Today, no, you have nothing. Bhavaji Maharaj is there. He is just going to enter the, enter the, Ashram premise. He was about to enter the ashram premise. That time, Babaji Maharaj with one boom, was boom, hey, go, 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 speaking. The, the landlord thought, Babaji Maharaj, Babaji Maharaj, I think Babaji Maharaj is angry with me. He is going to drive me away, so better I can go away. Maybe he is angry. He gone. And he complained. He discussed the case. With his friend, his friend say impossible. Impossible, he can never insult even, a, even, a, even one ant. He cannot. An ant. An ant cannot expect this kind of behavior. Allah, yes, I went there yesterday. No. 
you must take information properly something wrong is there then that 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 friend of that zamindar he usually used to go to he used to take darshan of baba ji very often he used to serve baba ji mar very often he used to ask him yesterday one of my friend uh, is a landlord he came to take darshan take your darshan why baba ji maharaj you become angry with him i am angry yes he became angry he wanted to speak hey go 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 what is this baba ji maharaj is there any any cause behind it baba ji no 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 i was not at all angry with the man i never saw where the man is i was driving away a chagal goat one goat going to one goat going to one goat going to take up eat up all tulsi garden there in vrindavan eh in vrindavan govinda mandir yes in vrindavan govinda mandir one goat enter in the garden tulsi garden and that goat going to eat up nobody there so what to do i was like, hey hat 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 i was speaking later on later on information was taken by that man is it true particularly that day one go go one goat and uh, you know entered into the bagicha tulsi bagicha that there one vaishnav say yes that day one goat entry so baba ji mara here his body is there within almost within no period of time tax not tax and of time even i cannot say that within fraction of time he passed away there in bindavan to drive away you know that goat from the garden tulsi garden now you understand so don't please it is my request don't think that it is one drama so whenever naraji mara took decision whenever whenever naraji maharaj took decision to meet with prahlad maharaj this desire is more than sufficient for him this desire is more than sufficient for him to reach shutal puri where prahlad maharaj is okay follow what i say so parikhit maharaj describing in front of his in front of his mother you know uttara devi and in the second so first look i speak second slok tabat bibikte bhagavat padam bujo premul lashad dhanu bishakta chetosa shri vaishnava grena samikhya durata prathayo vipraha pranato antikam gatah what is it try to understand tabat tabat mean by that time when i reach there tabat bibikte bhagavat padam bujo premo lashat dhyano bishakta chetasa shri vaishnava grena samikhyo duratah prathayo vipraha pranato antikam gatah that's mean whenever parikit ma speaking that by your topmost vaishnav vaishnav agragani the exalted vaishnav great vaishnav prahlad maharaj that time that time mean when naraji mar reach that spot naraji maharaj could naraji maharaj could discover could see that prahlad maharaj sitting in a very very solid solitary place going to concentrate on the lotus feet of bhagwan bhagwat dhyan bhagwat padam in the lotus feet of bhagwan and with full enjoyment he was he was expressing some ecstatic mood like like you know like tears rolling down his cheeks and uh, all the body body hair standing on the strips or everything this way he was you know dhyan nimagno and he was very clever in the meantime material thing surely material thing prahlad maharaj cannot see and in sutalpuri when 
Pallad Maharaj concentrating his mind onto the lotus feet of Bhagavan, Bhagavad then meditation. Out of his extreme love, he was concentrating on the lotus feet of Bhagavan. In the meantime, he could discover that my Guru Dev Naraj coming. Now question can come, Maharaj, you say that he was concentrating in the lotus feet of Bhagavan. How, how he could discover that Naraji coming? Point is that. According to Adhyayagan Tattva, specially, specially, very specially, about Naraji Maharaj and about Bhagavan, we can say that Naraji Maharaj is inside the inside the heart of inside the heart of Naraji Maharaj, inside the heart of Naraji Maharaj, Bhagavan sitting. So when Prahlad Maharaj is going to consider on the Lord of Spirit of Bhagavan. He can see Naraji Maharaj also. Not a question of surprise. He can see because inside the heart of Naraji Maharaj, Bhagavan sitting, and that Bhagavan, you know, now is an object of concentration. Wow, why not possible? At the same time, also we can explain this way that Naraji Maharaj is a guru. Naraji Maharaj is a guru of Prahlad Maharaj. So one devotee can see Bhagavan, one devotee can see Bhagavan, can concentrate onto a lot of speed of Bhagavan, provided he is successful to see Gurudev each and everywhere. Try to understand this Siddhanta. Naraji Maharaj is Guru. If at all Prahlad Maharaj is successful to concentrate onto a lot of speed of Bhagavan, if he can see clearly the lot of speed of Bhagavan, be sure. It is be sure that he can also see the lotus feet of Guru. He can also see because it is quite natural. If I cannot see Guru Dev, I can see Bhagavan. Quite impossible. So it's quite natural. So when he is going to see the lotus feet of Bhagavan, why not you can come, you know, understand the Siddhanta that he when he was in you know, a concerning. Unto the lotus, lotus feet of Bhagavan, he was also looking the lotus feet of Gurudev. Follow. Because Guru Kipa Hi Kevalam. So, this way, don't express any doubt and you know, you know, no doubt. So, that time Prahlad Maharaj was concentrating in a, into the lotus feet of Bhagavan in a very solitary place. He was doing meditation, deep meditation, but still. The Siddhanta Vichara and speaking this way, he was also successful to see the lotus feet of Naraji Maharaj. And immediately, immediately, he break, you know, they are actually meditation gopi, those gopikas, those brajavasis. Their meditation is quite natural. So why not you can understand this way? Prahlad Maharaj is not going to break meditation, but it is the rules, it is, it is the system, it is the etiquette that Guru Vaishnava when coming, immediately I have to run, immediately I have to run and pay prostate donament to Guru Dev. It is a it is a Vaishnava etiquette. So Prahlad Maharaj though doing meditation, I cannot say that by the coming of Naraji Maharaj, Prahlad Maharaj anyway going to break his meditation. Not that. Meditation is there. Because meditation of Prahlad Maharaj is quite natural. Uh, still, that time you are specially concentrating and doing archan. In, you know, it's there. In Bhagavatam, fifth canto also, Nishingo Dev, you know, King Purusha Varsha. I can discuss this point next week. So, it's not surprise. Follow what I say. So, this way, Tabat, Tabat, Tabat means. As soon as I reach Tabat Bibikte Bhagavat Padam Bhuja Prema Lashat Dhano Vishakta Chetasa Sri Vaishnava Grena Shamiksha Durataha Prathayo Vipraha Pranato Antikam Gataha. Here, very spectacular thing. Parikhidma not speaking that he was sitting in meditation, after that he getting up. 
Getting up means Uthayo. Try to understand the difference. Prathayo and Uthayo. Uthayo means Gatro Thanam. Gatro Thanam. You know, somebody is sitting in one place. I am saying, you know, he is going to get up. Eh? Gatro Thanam. Eh? No? Gatro Thanam. Kritovan. Gato Thanam means Uthanam, means get up. But here Prathayo, means very special get up. With full honor and respect and love. That's why the Sanatana Goswami is not writing Uthayo. Uthayo means ordinary case. Uh, somebody coming, I get up. But here Prathayo means with full respect and honor, Naraj Prahlad Maharaj get up immediately. And went to run to the spot where he saw, discovered Gurudev and you know, very quickly, you know, Munibar was very fast. Munibar was very fast, but Prahlad Maharaj also very fast. Prahlad Maharaj wanted to get up very quickly and run to Guru and immediately Munibar, I mean Naraji Maharaj also very quickly. He could reach Prahlad Maharaj. Then Prahlad Maharaj eh, paid Dandavat to Naraji Maharaj, I mean Guru. And also you can remember Naraji Maharaj also, Naraji Maharaj also, and what to speak about Naraji Maharaj, even Sankar Bhagavan. Vaishnavanam Tathasambhu, yesterday I also discussed that Shankar Bhagavan also liked to pay Dandavar to Pullad Maharaj. Follow what I say. Shankar Bhagavan saying, we all like to pay Dandavar to Pullad, but Pullad never liked to accept it. So, okay, we don't like to, you know, we like to search, we like to search the satisfaction of Vaishnava. Well, that's why we are not to pay down. But mentally we are paying down now. Such a great glories. So Tabat Bibikti Bhagavat Padam Bhujo Premol Lashad Dhyano Bishak Tachetosa Sri Vaishnava Grena Shamiksha Durataha Prathaya Vipraha Pranato Antikam Gataha. Then after that, Prahlad Maharaj paying Dandavat to Naraji Maharaj is Gurudev. And Pithe Prajatnath Upo Beshito Ayam Pujam Purabat Bidhinar Bidhinar Po Bidhinar Panam. Vidhina, Vidhina Opi, Arpanam, Arpamanam, Arpamanam means offering. Follow, what is it? Pithe, Pithe Prajatnath Upabeshito Ayam. Naraji Maharaj was given a chair, I mean Singhasan, throne. Naraji Maharaj was given a chair immediately. So that he can sit, so it is written, Pite, Pite means a chair in which Guru, Gurudev, I mean, you know, Naraji Maharaj can sit. So it is written very, very nicely, Pite Prajatna Dupabeshito Vayam Pujam, you know, Purobad, you know, Purobadad Vidhina. Arpamanam, like previous, previous case, like previous, previous case, previously also, Naraji used to come and that time, like, like, you know, that way, Naraji Maharaj was given honor and cheer and respect and puja. Prahlad Maharaj wanted to worship, first of all, Prahlad Maharaj allow one chair, then after that allow him to sit very, Relax way. After that, Prahlad Maharaj is going to do archan, puja. Pujam, puravad. Pujam, puravad. Puravad like previously. 
पूजा पुरावत विधि न ओपी अर्पमानम गोइंग टू ऑफर इन और गो और गो इन फ्लावर चांदन वाटर इसकल और गो आई मीन ऑफरिंग फॉर द ऑनर ऑफ गुरुदेव एन सम्रांत चेत सहा चेत सा चेता एन वट इज रुटीन सम्रांत चेता परिहित तो बर्षण हर्षाश्रु हर्षाश्रु मश्लेशो परो अवदत् अवदत्तम अवदत्तम वाट स्पीकिंग प्रहलाद वेरी केयरफुली वॉन्टेड टू ऑफर वन आसन टू गुरुदेव आफ्टर दैट लाइक प्रीवियसली प्रहलाद महाराज वॉन्टेड टू ऑर्सिप गुरुदेव गिविंग सम ऑफरिंग्स टू गुरुदेव और घा एवरीथिंग अकॉर्डिंग टू रूल्स आर रिचुअलिस्टिक एक्टिविटी वॉन्टेड टू ऑर्सिप एंड मुनिबर इन द मीन टाइम मुनिबर इमीडिएटली इन अ वॉन्टेड टू रन टू हिम टू एम्ब्रेस हिम you know very very full of you know respect prahlad ma do his gurudev but still i am bound to speak this way because it is written here full honor is sambhranto sambandh mein with full avi sambhranto jitte keval he wanted to give one embrace to prahlad maharaj and he was you know naraji maharaj wanted to apprise naraji maharaj naraji maharaj also wanted to apprise the embrace you know mood of shankar bhagwan before before coming here shankar bhagwan requesting well you are going there you must offer my embracing mood to him don't forget well for there we find you know naraji maharaj going to shed tears 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 rain tears tears rain tears going to roll tears going to rolling down from the cheeks of you know naraji maharaj so it is written pithe prajatnat upaveshito ayam pithe prajatnat upaveshito ayam pujam puravad vidhina opi atvamanam संभ्रांत चेता परिहेतवर्षन हर्षाश्रु हर्षाश्रु रोमाश्लेषो हर्षाश्रु रोमाश्लेषो परो अवदत् अवदत् देन नारज मा गिविंग अ वेरी वेरी लवफुल एम्ब्रेस टू प्रहलाद महाराज नाउ गोइंग टू ए नो ग्लोरीफाई हिम How? Sri Narad Bhaja, Sri Narad Ji Maharaj speaking. Sri Narad Ji Maharaj speaking. What to do? Narad Ji Maharaj speaking. You are the only Kipa Patra. You are the only Kipa Patra of Bhagwan Sri Krishna. After long time. after long time today i have the chance to to see you after long time today i have the chance to see you today all my energy all my energy i mean i mean my coming here today all my energy i mean i mean my running here to you is successful but i am successful because i am successful to see you from your boyhood ballokal from a very very boyhood you are going to get the rare krishna bhakti bishuddha very pure krishna bhakti from your boyhood i know you for long time from your boyhood you are going to get this pure devotional mood for krishna krishna bhakti this kind of devotional mood to be frank i have never seen or never seen before anywhere the kind of devotional practice you know you are going to show for bhagwan almost rare so narad ji maharaj speaking 
दृष्टाश्चिरा दृष्टा चिरा कृष्ण कृपा भरस्व पात्र भवान्मे सफल श्रमो अभूत आवल्यतु आवल्यतु यस्सो ही कृष्ण भक्तिर याता विशुद्धा न कुतो योपी या आसित फॉलो ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड दृष्टा अचिरात आई लाइक टू स्प्लिट अप दृष्टा अचिरात कृष्ण कृपा भरस्व पात्र भवान मे सफल श्रमो अभूत आवल्य तो फ्रॉम बॉयहुड फ्रॉम द बिगिनिंग ऑफ हिज बॉयहुड आवल्य तो यशो ही कृष्ण भक्तिर याता विशुद्धा न कुतो योपी जा आसित जा मीन दिस काइंड ऑफ भक्ति डिवोशन व नेवर सीन इन द होल वर्ल्ड नेवर नारद जी महाराज स्पीकिंग सो मेनी टॉर्चर्स यू बियर यू बियर सो मेनी टॉर्चर्स बाय योर फादर जया शिता विहिता सहस्र मुपद्रवा दारुण विघ्न रूपा रूपा ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड वाट इज ए जया सित्रा विहिता सहस्र उपद्रवा दारुण विघ्न रूप जितास्तया यशो तवा सर्वे अभवन भागवता ही दैत्ता वर्थ स्पीकिंग एक्सट्रीम टॉर्चर इन ह्यूमन एक्टिविटीज डन बाय योर फादर सो मच टॉर्चर वेर डन ऑन यू बट स्टिल यू कुड बियर इट विदाउट एनी कंप्लेन दैट इज योर हाइनेस ग्रेटनेस सो मेनी प्रॉब्लम क्रिएटेड बाय योर फादर सिंपली बिकॉज यू आर डूइंग भजन यू आर डूइंग भक्ति नथिंग एल्स यू हैव नो फॉल्ट you have no fault you know no mistake only, only the thing that you are doing krishna bhakti you are you are full of devotional mood and the lotus feet of prabhu that's why hiranyakashipu the demon your father started so much torture he wanted to throw you from the hill top into ocean follow what i say is called jion nishingo jion nishingo bhagwan going to catch you like a mother going to catch the boy like a bo- like a baby like a mother going to like a mother going to catch a baby on her lap without any you know without any mistake so when hiranyakashipu wanted to throw you into ocean from the hill top then narayan bhagwan wanted to accept you like a baby so much you are so lucky that place is called jion nishingo follow jion nishingo where pralad maharaj was thrown into ocean and ahwal nishingo mean जीवन सिंह अहवल सिंह पानन सिंह पानन सिंह मीन प्रहलाद महाराज वॉज गिविंग पॉइजन यज गिविंग सल्यूशन सर्बत यज गिविंग पॉइजन इन द फॉर्म ऑफ सल्यूशन शर्बत दैर इज कॉल पानन सिंह स्टील टूडे भगवान गोइंग टू ड्रिंक शर्बत फॉलो नाइस अहवल सिंह मीन the place where in the hill top hill top pallad maharaj was pallad maharaj was kept inside a cavity i mean inside a hole in in a in a you know in a you know inside a hill and he was you know here and one big stone chip was given there so that pallad maharaj one 
cannot come out. He was captived. He was captivated. Inside a, uh, you know, inside the cavity of hill. That place is Ahaval Nishingo. This way, so many torches, even, you know, even the sister of Hiranyagasibu, by the order of Hiranyagasibu, she was ready to, to sit with Prahlad in her lap and fire because her name is Horika. Her name was Harika. Horika means Harika. <laughs> her name is Horika. Actually, Horika, she got one boon from the fire god that there can be so many fire all around her. But anyway, fire not going to burn her body. That's why Hiranyakasipu took decision to allow Purladma to see in, uh, in the lap of Harika, I mean the sister of, I mean her sister, his sister. And Hiranyakasipu wanted to set fire so that he cannot live, he can burn up. But the opposite thing happens. Harika was burned up and Prahlad Maharaj was saved by Bhagavan. So, Naraji Maharaj speaking with strong grief. Oh my son, oh Prahlad, I know. Drishta Chirat Krishna Krishna Kipa Bharasyo Patram Bhavan Me Safalam Sramo Abhut Avalyatu Yasso Hi Krishna Bhaktir Yata Vishuddha Na Kuto Yopi Ya Ashit. This kind of devotional practice was never found before. It is, it is historical. It is historical, it is very exemplary. Great example, idealism for us. All. Arjaya sapitra vihita sahasra upadrava daruna vigna rupaha jita staya yasu tavanu bhavat sarve abhavan Bhagavata hi daitaha. Your father started doing so much disturbance, so much oppression, so much oppression, so much oppression, operation was done. But still, Pallad Maharaj was successful to bear each and everything. There was no harm. There was no harm. Pallad Maharaj was successful. And On the contrary, we can say, Hey Prahlad, you are successful, you are successful to change the heart of so many, you are successful to change the heart of so many demons. Because Vaishnava association is great. Vaishnava association is without fail. Vaishnava, Vaishnava association Pure, pure Vaishnava association, pure Vaishnava association can never go in vain. So we see, you are successful to change the heart of so many devotees, so many so-called, you know, so many. They are successful to start devotional activities only by your keeper. So, Jaya, Jaya sa pitra vihitaha sahasra mupadrava daruna vigna rupaha jitaha staya jasso tavan bhava sarve avavan bhagavata hi daitaha. You are successful to change the heart of so many demons, but to speak, it is the characteristics of a pure devotee. They can change the heart of even a demon. Great glories. You always forget, you always forget about your own body and things relating, related to your body. Naraji Maharaj speaking, what a surprise. Naraji Maharaj speaking, what a surprise. You always forget your own body and body related things. You can remember the slok spoken by Sanatan Gosai. 
कृष्ण भक्ति सुधा पाना देहो दही को विश्रुते तेसाम पांचभूति देहो भी सच्चिदानंद रूप होता नाव नारद जी महाराज स्पीकिंग कृष्णा विष्टो जो अश्रितात्मेवो मत्तो नित्वन गायन कंपमानो रुदंश लोकानो सर्वानुधरन संस्तिभ्यो विष्णोर भक्तिम हर्षयमासो तन्मन तन्मन मैंने यू आर गोइंग टू प्रोपागेट यू आर गोइंग टू यू आर गोइंग टू यू आर गोइंग टू प्रोका यू आर गोइंग टू प्रोपागेट प्योर डिवोशनल एक्टिविटीज इज योर ग्लोरीज एंड यू आर ऑलवेज स्टेइंग एज इफ अ घोस्ट एज इफ ए घोस्ट एंटरिंग योर बॉडी बट नॉट दैट एक्चुअली यू आर You are overpowered. You are overpowered by the love, loveful, you know, mood, you know, of Krishna. You like to love Krishna, and this kind of extremely valuable, loveful your your loveful attitude, your extreme loveful attitude. Anyway, going to, you know, create such a situation where, where you forget your own body. and body related things krishna bisto jo asrita atmevo you even forget your own body and body related thing matto you become fanatic you become you forget your own body and going to forget everything related to your body like you are going to do fanatic dancing fanatic dancing and singing you are going to do and your body whole body is shaking vibrating you are going to do extreme dancing and singing and this way you are acting as acharya you are going to propagate you are going to pro propagate this pure devotional activity so you know so all demons also going to change their heart so parikit mara speaking i mean actually narad ji mara speaking जो कृष्णा विष्टो कृष्णा विष्टो जो अश्रितात्म एव मत्तो नेतन गायन कंपमानो रुदंश लोकानो सर्वानुधरन संस्मृतिभ्यो विष्णुर्भक्ति हर्षया मासो तन्वन वेरी ग्लैडली you are going to do dance and dancing and singing loudly and sometime you are crying going to you know you going to express some ecstatic feeling anyway you are going to express vishnu bhakti ba krishna bhakti is quite natural now now narad ji maharaj speaking narad ji maharaj out of his you know lawful mood narad ji maharaj speaking Narjima speaking ho narad hey narjima speaking ho prahlad we can remember how explosive we can ho oh, narad ji ho oh, narad we can remember how exclusive kipa you got from bhagwan when your father wanted to throw into the ocean that ke sagar tire then bhagwan was bound to appear there to take you in the lap to take you in the lap very 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 carefully like just like a mother follow and brahma mahesh brahma shankar all they started doing stava narji ma speaking that brahma shankar all they started doing stava very carefully when the nishingo dev appeared na when nishingo dev appeared then brahmas mahesh all every all demigods they started you know doing stava to satisfy him in front of nishingo dev but he wanted to ignore he was less interested 
though I myself, Shankar, and your father, I mean Brahma, they all, they started doing prayer, stotra, but he was less interested. He was less interested, you know. So, Naraji Maharaj speaking, Bhagavan wanted to ignore, Bhagavan wanted to ignore, I mean pass away, the stava by Brahma Sankar. Bhagavan was very careful, he wanted to take special care for Prahlad Maharaj, I mean, hey Prahlad, for you, Bhagavan took very special care to save you, you can remember. So, at the bank of, in ocean, and when you know, poison was given to you, at the same time when you go to, you know, down there also, Sutal, Atal, Vital, Tal, so many, you know. So, Bhagavan wanted to ignore, Bhagavan wanted to ignore their prayer and Bhagavan wanted to give first preference, I mean, honor to you. Follow what I say. Krishnena avir bhuyo, what is in? Krishnena avir bhuyo tire mahadhe, swanke kritva lalito matri vajya, brahme shadino kurvato yopi stabugham, padmancha nadrito sanmanito ya. Even Bhagavan wanted to ignore Padda, I mean the wife of, you know, Bhagavan, Lakshmi, Mahalakshmi. So what to speak about Sankar and Brahma? Bhagavan usually wanted to. <coughs> because that time, Bhagavan was only busy with you, wanted to give honor to you, love you. So, Brahma was very fear. Parama Bhito Brahma Gati Parti Dohiya. Brahma, you know, Brahma was feeling very fear. Brahma was expressing very fearful attitude. Anyway, Brahma thinking, Brahma that time, Brahma was thinking that Bhagavan actually appeared. I know this is Nishinga Abhata, very dangerous to look. We cannot bear. But still, Bhagavan coming for Prahlad. So better, I can request Prahlad to approach Nishingadev and pay prostate dandavat. I can, this is the solution. Then automatically Bhagavan can, you know, become, you know, you know, tranquil. So it is written, when Brahma was very fearful, Brahma wanted to request you, hey Prahlad, when Brahma wanted to request you, Oh my son, your Prabhu coming to bestow keep on you. So why not you go and pay prostate dandavat under a lotus feet of Nishingade Bhagavan? Then by your order, by your request, I know, by your request for Lad was successful to reach the lotus feet of Nishingade and pay prostate dandavat. And Prahlad, and actually Hiran, and actually Parikhidma speaking, it was, it was a great surprise. That was a great surprise. That was a great surprise that Nishingadev immediately, when you paid Dandavat, Nishingadev immediately bent up and wanted to help you to get up from Pastor Dandavat and wanted to put his, you know, hand on your head, which is, you know, rare, 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 so rare. But still, Bhagavan wanted to, you know, wanted to give his lotus hand on my head and this way, this way, Prahlad Mahas, you know, Prahlad Maha, by the request of Brahma, by the request of Brahma, Prahlad Maharaj was successful to pay Dandavan to the Lord of Bhagavan and Bhagavan immediately going to, going to, going to help Prahlad Maharaj get up and on the contrary, Hiranyaka Sibu, you know, you know, Nishingadev was, 
you know, was ready to keep the lotus hand on his head. Hirandakasibu, by that time, there was no his Hirandakasibu was killed. Follow what I say. So, in number 8 sloka, it is written, number 8 sloka, it is written, Vitrasteno, Vitrasteno, Brahmana, Parthitoya, Srimat Padamboja Mule Nipatta, Uttishtan Uttapo Uttama, Uttamangi, Karabjan, Dritvang, Eshu, Sin, Nishing, Heno, Lida. What is written? When you, when you wanted to pay Randabhat to Nishingadev, immediately Nishingadev helped you to get up and Nishingadev wanted to, you know, put his hand on your head to best keep on you. Not only that, but also, you know, Nishingadev wanted to lick out your whole body. Nishingadev Bhagavan wanted to lick out whole body. Out of love and affection. Kesarivo sapotanam. You know, Nishinga stop. Like one lion, like one lion is lion for us. Very dangerous. Like one lion is very, you know, dangerous for us, is lion. But for his, but for, for own baby, for own baby, lion is not at all dangerous. Kesori was sapotanam. Follow for own sons and daughters. Lion is not dangerous. Similarly, Vitrasteno Brahmana Parthito Ya Srimat Padambuja Mule Nipatta Tishtan Uttapo Uttamange Karabjam Dhritvangeshu Sri Nishing Heno Lido. So, you see, Brahma was absolutely very, very fearful, and by the request, I mean prayer, and by the, by the order of, you know, you know, Brahma, you know, in front of Nishingo Dev, Wanted to pay Dandavat for Lad Maharaj, but Bhagavan immediately going to help him to get up and bless on his head, on his head. Vitrasteno Brahmana Parthito Ya Srimat Padambuja Mule Nipatta Tishtan Uttapa Tishtan Uttapa Tamange Karabjan Karabjam Dhittangeshu Sri Nishingena Lira. After that, after that, and actually after that, Naraji Maharaj, after, after that Naraji Maharaj speaking, after that Naraji Maharaj speaking, then Narahari Prabhu, I mean half lion, half lion and half, you know, man. So it is written, Sanatana Goswami writing, I mean the, I mean Parikshit Maha speaking to mother, this sequence going on. See Narahari, I mean Narasingha Bhagavan, very clever, you know. wanted to bless you. Narodi Sarka Thakur, Bhagavan Nishingadev, out of his great clavery, very clever, Nishingadev is, he wanted to best kipa on Prahlad Maharaj. Just Chitra, Just Chitra, Chitra grahos chaturi chayai rutsir jamanam harinam parampadam brahmadi 
सन पार्थम उपेक्षो केवलम ब्रवे अश्यो भक्तिम निजो जन्मो जन्मसु निशिंग दे भगवान वांटेड टू प्रे वांटेड टू यू नो वांटेड टू यू नो कीप ऑन प्रपोजल इन फ्रॉट ऑफ प्रहलाद प्रहलाद यू कैन टेक बून फ्रॉम मी वेल यू कैन टेक फॉर यू आई अपीयर नाउ नाउ यू कैन यू नो बेक फॉर बून आशीर्वाद ब्लेसिंग्स और स्पेशल यू नो बेनिडिक्शन you can be repeatedly even 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 after repeated request even after even after repeated request even after request repeated request pullak maharaj was very clever he was not at all ready to take any kind of boon facility from narahari sarkar prabhu so he didn't think it necessary to take big, to beg anything from nishinga dev because nishinga dev is my servant i am my prabhu i am his servant jas chitro vichitta gocha turi chayair usrijyamanam harina param padam brahmaadi sampartham upo mupekkho kevalam ब्रवे अश्व भक्ति निज जन्मो निज जन्म जन्मसु इट इज अ ग्रेट सरप्राइज भगवान वॉज वेरी भगवान इज वेरी क्लेवर यू नो वेरी क्लेवर ब्रह्मा शंकर वॉन्टेड ब्रह्मा शंकर इट इज यू नो Brahma Sankar can beg this kind of thing, and Bhagwan going to bless. But here, just opposite, Bhagwan going to require. Hey, you take something, you take something, you take something. Well, I don't want anything. So, without pure devotional activity, you never wanted to acquire land, property, jewel, or the opportunity over a whole world. Not that. Not that. यश्चित्रो यश्चित्रो विचित्रा ग्रहो चातुरी चयुसृज्यम हरिना परम पदम ब्रह्मादिशंपाथम ब्रह्मादिशंपाथम उपेक्ष कवल ब्रवे अशो भक्ति निजो जन्म जन्मसु See Narahari Bhagwan. He was very clever to offer different kind. He was he was he was offering so much a lucrative offer. Lucrative was very very clever. Wanted to offer different lucrative offer, but ultimately, Supreme Lord Bhagwan, Param, you know. When Nishinga Bhagwan, when Nishinga Bhagwan wanted to bestow you kipa param pad, dan he wanted to donate you, but you wanted to ignore because je jathamam prapadandi tan sasi ma bhagam bhayamman Bhagwan like to Bhagwan like to repay, so Pralatma never want repay any repay cannot expect. So actually, it is very strange. You know all those demigods and Brahma. They are supposed to beg Brahma, Shankar, Indra, Varun. They are supposed to beg boon from Nishingade. Whereas you wanted to ignore. No need. No need. No need. No need. What I can do with boon? I get your darshan. Stana vilasin sabadis sitham. You know I can discuss next week. स्थान विलासिंग तपति स्थित है नव प्राप्त है न देव मुनिंद गुज्जम प्राप्त बान देव मुनिंद गुज्जम काचम विचिन्न नोपी दिव्य रत्नम सामीन बरन्न जाचे 
in Hara Bhakti Sudodaya. In Hari Bhakti Sudodaya you cannot follow what is written. So Prahlad Maharaj never wanted to never wanted to get anything, any offer. He wanted to reject. No, I cannot take. Because you are my Prabhu, I am your servant. There is no title, there is no self-interest, nothing can be one kind of barrier in the way of my service towards you. So, Brihad Nishinga Puran, Kesari, I mean like lion, lady lion going to take care of, or lady lion or the he lion also going to take care of, you know, of baby. So, Narsingh Bhagavan wanted to offer some, offer something to you, but you never wanted to accept anything from him. Jas chitro vichitra kroho chaturi chayair usri jamanam harina parampadam brahmadi sangpartham upeksho kevalam brave asya bhaktim nijo janma janma su Follow what I say. Oh, Prahlad Maharaj always wanted to expect pure devotional activities, nothing else. Prahlad Maharaj never wanted to ex expect anything from Nishinga Bhagavan. And you are very clever, Nishinga Dev is very clever. He wanted to, uh, wanted to offer some lucrative, Nishinga Bhagavan wanted to show some lucrative, lucrative wanted to show some lucrative offer to in front of you. Hey, you take it, you take it, you take it. But you are very clever. More than, more clever than Prabhu. You never wanted to take anything from Bhagavan, you know, because you declared that our relationship without any self-interest. Ya sa Prabhu Pritam Apekhyo Paitrikam Rajam Sayam Si Naro Singho Sangstuto Sang Parthita Seso Jano Udri Udriti Udriti Chaya Sikrito Tadhyano Paro Atro Bartati Prahlad Maharaj, now somebody can say how it is possible for Prahlad Maharaj to sit in the in the in the chair of Hiranyakashipu because the material here the argument given don't think that whole mood of Prahlad Maharaj all sense organ everything busy with the seva of Prabhu so always Mahabhagavat Prahlad always ready to serve Nishinga Devan all Guru Bhargava all you know Actually, it is, we cannot expect. Actually, you are right. We cannot expect that Pallad Maharaj can sit in the throne, I mean in the chair of Hiranyakasu. It is material chair. But whereas, for the satisfaction of Nishingadev, because Nishingadev is saying, you will have to stay as, as an Acharya. You will have to stay, you will have to sit on the throne, you will have to sit in the chair of Hiranyakasibu, your father, and you will have to act as an Acharya. All your pure activities, Acharan, is very important. So I, you know, this way, all common people, even demons, they also can become pure devotee. Who can say? Ya Swaprabhu Pritim Apeksha Paitrikam Rajyam Sayam Srin Naro Singho Sangstuto Sang Parthita Seso Jano Udhriti Chaya Sang Parthita Seso Jano Udhriti Chaya Sikrito Tadhyano Paro Atravartate Still today, Parlad Maharaj is going to sit in the, in the 
throne in the chair of Nishingade, in the chair of Hiranyakasipu, but not out of his own, not but not out of his own desire. It is the desire of Nishingade. It is the desire of Nishingade. That's why he never wanted to sit. He never wanted to sit in the chair of Hiranyakasipu, but it was the order of Nishingadev to 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 seek the to seek the total satisfaction of Prabhu is the duty of a servant. So this way, Prahlad Maharaj, though he was not at all ready to accept the chair of Hiranyakasipu, but still he was bound because he is always trying to see the seek the satisfaction of Prabhu. So by his order, he was bound to sit in the chair and wanted to act as Acharya. And not only that, but also he was successful to change so many. He was successful to change the heart of so many demons and so many Jivatma. We can discuss this topic someday next week also. Today time is finished, so I cannot discuss further. Excuse me. And try to understand the humble attitude of Prahlad Maharaj. Try to understand the humble attitude of Naraji Maharaj. Try to understand the humble attitude of Sankar Bhagavan. Try to understand the humble attitude of Brahma. This way, go on. Go on. Go on thinking over and again. Then someday, this Srinadapi Sunij Baba, who can say? Somebody, someday, who can say? Somebody, someday, by the desire, someday, by the desire of Guru Varga, by the blessing of Guru Varga, I can also become Srinadapi. Who can say? Who can put guarantee? No, no, no. We can put guarantee. Madjanmanaha phalamidam madukoit obhare matparthaniya madanagraho esa eva tad vritto vritto paricharaka vritto 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 sya vritto iti mans maro loko natha madjanmanaha phalamidam madukoit obhare Mat partha niya madano kroho yesu eva. Tot vritta vritto paricharako vritta vritto vritta shavitto iti mans maru loko natho iti mans maru loko natho. Vanchakalpatru sikipasindu bavicha patitanan pavane bavishna bhyo namo namo.